Hello everyone and welcome to this butchery tutorial. We will look closer on what skills do we need as a butcher, what is possible and how we do it. So we first start on how to raise your skills with some simple little piggies or whatever you have in your area of course. So we start with the basics here. You kill the animals, you take the carcass, you skin the animal and you get out the materials. So you will gain a lot of skills while doing this, but there are also many skills for many materials that you can't learn while doing that. So for example, I will get only bone tissues, full grain leather, tallow and pig meat, and I won't get any emalgi. Emalgi, 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 uh, uh, what the fuck? It doesn't matter. But you get this out of um, the pigs if you use that at the butchery table. Then you can also learn a few more skills, a few more materials. But please also consider that um, you can't, for example, learn iron bone if you want to butcher razorbacks. You need the iron bone lore book for that and you need to um, read it first. But something like molarium, you can get out molarium out of the butcher table without reading the molarium book first. But uh, this is also for many other skills like uh, creepite, for example and many other materials. So if you want to be safe, just um, buy all the raw books first, read all the raw books, because later at release and at persistence um, you won't get so much carcass out of uh, these animals, I guess, and uh, the skill grinding will be a pain in the ass, and you don't want to waste um, um, hundred thousands of carcass and um, uh, hundred stacks of carcass just to level up your skills uh, a few points. So yeah, um, read all the books to the end. Sure, it just depends on the material and on the skill. Just for example, um, a dense creepite book, um, it's recommended to read that to the end. But uh, something like bone tissues or something like um, every animal have, um, yeah, you don't need to read that to the end. But later the book reading speed will also be very slow, so for some materials you need even days and something like that. And now pray for me little piggies in my uh, praise the sun pose. Best emote ever. And another good example of uh, even increasing your skills further in some material laws or even the zoology lore. Yeah, you need the zoology lore too. And get the cooking skill. It doesn't matter, you can even have this skill on one point or something like that, it doesn't matter. And you skinned your animal or you butchered your animal and you throw all this uh, just in the cooking. So open your cooking window by just clicking the icon in your hotbar, if you have placed it in the hotbar of course. And no, you don't need a campfire or anything like that, just uh, throw everything in there that you want to skill. Just cook it and your skill will increase. Okay, yeah, all my skills are 100 for that, um, but um, yeah, if my... Uh, a skill for bone tissues wouldn't be 100 right now, um, um, then uh, it would have gained a few points. And yeah, I would not recommend eating this at all. It is poisonous, but it has good mana nourishment. And that's a little bit strange. Okay, anyway, let's move on to the skills. Okay, so here, just for example, I included also the armor crafter because it just makes the most sense to combine that with the butcher, for example. Okay, first off, we have animal materials. Yeah, every butcher needs that, of course. And then we have armor crafting. Yeah, it's optional, but um, yeah, it makes the most sense if you combine this. Sure, you can also combine the butcher with many other professions, uh, but uh, overlapping is just uh, the most with uh, the armor crafter. Also, a tamer would be a good option. And of course, to all this, you can also include the tamer without a problem because you have the zoology lore anyway. Then I took Arthropoda. Yeah, you can use many other zoology skills. I will show them later. It just depends on what animals do you want to butcher. Arthropoda are uh, spiders and some other things, but um, it's mainly for silk, for example. And silk is a good uh, second material for armors. Butchery appliances, yeah, that is also needed in order to use the butcher bank to get out uh, the good materials, like for example, uh, molarium, iron silk, and so on. Laminated armor crafting, yeah, for full armor crafter you need all of these armor crafting skills. I will skip uh, these now. Then we have mammalia, that is also a zoology lore for uh, the normal mammals, like um, springboks, pigs, and all the stuff. And yeah, every animal has its subcategory, its secondary skill under. Um, some of the zoology skills. So if you have mammalia, no, you don't have the zoology lore for that specific animal. You have to train uh, these separate. And that means if you want to increase your skill in horses, for example, which is also mammalia, and the subcategory is Pegasofare, I, I think. I don't remember it correctly, it's so many years, but I think the Malva skill was Keratomorpha. 
so yeah you need the sub skills under these primary skills these are just the primary skills then uh, metals metallurgy this is also just for the armor crafting no you don't need this as a butcher but yeah if you want to make an armor crafter and a butcher for example um, then it's good if you have metallurgy too because uh, because uh, then you can make uh, steel armor and metal armor like uh, every other armor crafter too and sometimes you just need that and um, yeah you can uh, still buy uh, steel and uh, some other metals so it's it's very nice to have if you don't want to run around in paper armor all the time i'm not saying that molarium is paper armor but molarium is pretty good very good and iron bone too of course but um, compared if uh, two pro players fight one with molarium and one with steel um, there's a huge difference but uh, this is all a topic for another video and then i also included reptilia that is also pretty good for some uh, scales and some other stuff and then we have the scales law of course scales are very good for mage armor and light armors and stuff but um, there were also scales like Panzer scales and some really heavy scales uh, that are um, nearly as good as steel or even better than steel in some cases from uh, crocodiles for example. It also depends on your region. I mean if you just live in Farbenum for example or in Galcor or something like that then you don't need scales lore ever. I mean sure you can import, you can buy the scales and uh, then use uh, them but uh, the whole north uh, side of the map uh, there are no scales. Uh, what I mean is uh, no scale animals, no animals um, that um, you can butcher to uh, get scales, um, there are just uh, none of them. And quite uh, the opposite, if you live in Bhakti for example or near the jungle area, you maybe need metallurgy but you don't need uh, advanced alloys for chronite and ochmium because um, uh, it's pretty rare that you get ochmium and chronite there and if you get it it's pretty expensive. Okay pretty sorry I'm drifting away. Um, yeah you also need textile lore for all the silk, the guard fur, the iron fur, the iron wool and all the other stuff. So here just for example to mention it a little bit, the different zoology lores. Okay to make it short. I'm Amphibia is not in game, it's like frogs and um, all the other stuff. Arthropoda, uh, spiders and all uh, that stuff. Aves are not apes. It's for all kinds of birds and stuff. So for terror birds, for example, everything that can fly or chickens. And then a dragon lore. Yeah, we don't have dragon. There were, there were dragon materials in the Zato dungeon in Mortal Kombat 1. But um, now I'm getting too much off topic. So we go to Holocea. Holocea have no uses for animals, but for Argus sponge, for example. So if you are an alchemist and you uh, experiment with uh, Argos sponge, then you need that. But for a butcher, currently no uh, further use. So Mammalia, yeah, that is a, a no-brainer. A, a lot, uh, I mean, a, really a lot of creatures uh, fall under the Mammalia tree. Then we have Piscus, uh, that are fish and all around uh, that stuff. And uh, then we have Reptilia, that is for shore prowlers and for crocodiles and all the other stuff. So yeah, if you are a solo player, for example, you I think you really need butchery, of course. If you are a PvE player and just a farmer and a gold maker and a crafter and a trader, um, then I also think you need uh, the butchery tree. It is uh, the very baseline for the game in general. And I really recommend to have at least uh, one guy in your group um, that uh, can butcher uh, stuff. And even if you don't have a butcher, you can uh, still level up all the skills you need and uh, then just drop the primary skills because the primary skills can get um, retrained pretty easily, very fast. So you could for example make a butcher for a longer time, hoard materials and stuff in your bank, then uh, skill some other stuff. And if you want to be a butcher again for a short period of time, that is no problem because you won't lose the secondary skills and, and you won't use the skill points in your secondary skills. So you just have to skill the primary skills again. So no problem here. So I hope it uh, helped you a little bit. So special thanks to my Patreon supporters, Mohikani, Don Dexter and Skiba of course. Please also leave a like and subscribe, would be awesome. And don't forget to make party art. Goodbye.